Hey everybody, welcome back to my Skyrim experience. This is John, a.k.a. Zen, and we are back at Windhelm, uh, where we've just convinced the Jarl to come to the peace conference. And um, yeah, let's just jump right back into it. Made no progress uh, since last video, because it's been a busy weekend. It's actually, uh, truth be told, what... Um, not that late, but still. Okay. Everybody here? Hi, Lydia. Okay. Let us fast travel. Just get right into it, right? Uh, if you didn't catch the, if you didn't catch us up, I'd suggest going back to the last video where basically we switch axe. Uh, uh, I say axe, not axe like chopping wood, but uh, act. <laughs> axe. It's my lisp. Um, from second act, from the second, from act two to act three, uh, and a lot, a lot's going on. So off to High Hrothgar we go, where I believe we'll just meet up with everybody. Now there's maybe a little bit of, um, uh, more storytelling than action today, but hopefully we can get to the actual point, which is to trap that dragon at, uh, uh, White run. The dragon's reach. Okay, here we go. See if all of the uh, army leaders have been met. I have a feeling this is going to take a little bit of diplomacy. I should have checked my speech scores. Hang on, because I might need to use some persuasion here. I don't have any perks to spend, but make any clicky. Speech is at twenty. I mean, I don't know if, um... Haggling, bribery, allure, persuasion. That's the one I wanted to really... Not intimidation, back up. Not, where are you going? Oh my goodness. Not bribery, persuasion. Ooh, I need quite a bit. Okay, well, let's not worry about that right now. Let's find out what the leaders say. So there's our graybeards. <clears throat> now the leaders did say they'd be coming. Let's find out. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. Now I should not have agreed to host this council. The graybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry, I'll get them to agree to peace. This is the only way to get Balgrove's help. Mm, mm. Do I believe there could be peace? I believe there could be peace. I'll get I'll get them to agree to peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. Here we Let go. us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Now, I'm just going to check something real quick because I still feel like the audio in the game is really low. Let's just have a look at well, everything. Everything is turned up to max. So... I guess it's just a quiet game. I wonder if there's any in-game volume controls. Let's just take a quick look. Settings. Audio. Alright. Uh, Alright. Music's down low, but everything else... Turn all the way up. Alright, I just wanted to double check. Um, right. This way. So... Arn gear, is it? You know why we're here. 
Are you going to let us in or not? No. You are not invited here. The you blades. Are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Were you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse your grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldrin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal oh about the situation and the threat that Aldrin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Uh, all yeah. right. Very well. You may enter. Okay, well, that's decided, I guess. Anybody else going to show up? Mm, I guess we follow everybody. Where are you going, Delphine? You could have told me. Are you hanging back for a reason? You could have told me you were going to just pop in. I was handling this. Okay, here, here's everybody. Hey, buddy boy. Hey, kid. Yeah, you're a good kid. All right, I'm trying to settle a peace treaty, kid. Why delay? Uh, please, take your seat so that we can begin. Okay, okay. <laughs> I got a pooch here, that's why. Go lay down, kiddo. You're a good kid. Everybody's standing like they're ready to pull a weapon out. <clears throat> Let's all be seated, please. Um, okay. Here we go. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I'm not even going to take my helmet off. I hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit you of... You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Good. Talos Hunter? That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's Boy. part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please, if we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Found more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Now look, let's not be racist here, okay? Uh I am Elvin. They are kinda like cousins. Uh let's see here. What's the harm? Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. All right. I'm not. I'm not kicking anybody out of the negotiations. Every, this is the world of Skyrim, and everybody lives here. This is kind of just how I feel about it. So let Talius have his way on this. He'll give. He'll have to give ground later. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me. I'll bow to your judgment on this. But oh, she but... is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's mm. supposed to be on our side? You know exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able We're to here resist. To arrange a temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? 
Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Yeah, I think that's pretty smart. General, Elisif. General oh, this is Elisif. outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Murkart at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely What would the character. Empire want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough! First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. The boy. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Oh boy. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't... We aren't here to negotiate any... I mean, everybody just stop fighting for two seconds. Keep your... Where about everybody just keeps what they have? For, like, give me a month. Mm. I'm not going to say Winterhold, because that's the seat of power. Right? That's his seat of power. How about Riften? Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threatened Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, and now it seems you help the Empire at every turn. Uh. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Makar, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Lothalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit, arguing. While the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned. The world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? Good point. A very pretty speech. But what does it have Shut to do up. with the... It is right, about all. We both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it meat. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender your march to us and take Idgrad Ravencrone with you. Surely the Builder will take over as Jarl of Marthal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? 
Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say I don't you, care. If I agree with the Empire one more time, it's going to jeopardize Ulrich's whatever. The Empire doesn't need to give up any more territory, or I agree the Empire should turn over Hellmarch. Well, I did suggest he give up one of his lands. So, is that a balance? <laughs> Does it matter? Of course it matters to the story, I just... Uh, let's do that. Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Jarl March will be turned over to Ulfric, with Sorley the Builder assuming the Jarl ship. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alyssa? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes. For a temporary truce. Until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. <sighs> Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope Holy. it was worth it. Very now, Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains. How to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. Go, Esmond. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldwin has raised up. How does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why would he come when he called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So what's this dragon's name? Ah. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen, but it is written here in the scroll. Oda Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I hope this truth gives you what you need. It won't last. There's one more thing we know about. Now we don't. 
and it's long past time for him to pay for his crimes. And he's not just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alduin. He committed atrocities so infamous they are still remembered thousands of years later. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. What about Parthenax? Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Why does he have to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. I think that's pretty short-sighted. Uh, let's get out. Here's the thing. They're your ancestors, not mine. As far as I know, anyway. And, um... If you want him dead, I think you should go kill him. He's done nothing but help me. And I'm looking out for more than just your interests right now. I'm looking out for the world. So... Pound sand, I guess. We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. Yeah, well, I guess we're done talking. I need to thank you properly. You did well here today. I don't think the truce will last long, but that will not be on your account. <clears throat> the Blades want me to kill Parthenax. Do I rally you out? Or do I just leave it be? Let's see what the journal says. Kill Parthenax. Well, maybe I don't need their help anymore. Okay, I'm hearing a strange noise in the background, so pardon me for a moment. Good thing I stopped. We had ourselves a little bit of a mess maker. Okay. Let's go back to it. Yeah, I'm not thrilled with this idea. And I'd like to just forget it was ever mentioned. Because I don't know. I just didn't connect to the need to do that. Oops. Caught. Okay. Uh, yeah, see, my, my option is just not to talk about it with anybody. Oops. And focus. Um, screw it. I'm just not going to bring it up. I don't... Well, now I'm having second thoughts. Because... Maybe there's other insight. No, there's nothing to talk about. I'm moving on. I guess it has to be, it has to do with just being of this way and of helping. Now, who's this down here? Is that Delphine still? We have yeah. nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. No, all right. I'm done with you then. Um,. Oops. Journal. The Fallen. 
Yes. Prepare the trap for Odding. And I did learn the thing. So let's find out in the map where that goes. It goes back to Whiterun. Prepare trap. Okay, so we go to Dragon's Reach. We'll just hop right over there. Call this dragon out. Get him to show up. And learn some stuff. I'm kind of disappointed in the blades. I feel like that's... Ugh, I don't know. I get it. Like their ancestors suffered. If they were my ancestors in this way, I might feel just the same, but there's no no indication that... I mean, I'm from a different land. This, as this character, I'm from a different land. Okay, so, now we're here. I don't know if we're exhausted yet, but it looks like I do need to go inside the keep. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, let's make sure I know the shout, too. Go over here, take a look at the shout. Call dragon. Only being okay. Just we'll put it in our little list. Go in. Beverage. How are we doing? We're almost at the half hour mark, so we should get the call in anyway. All right, here we are. Back in Dragon Reach. the Jarl. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Are you ready to spring the trap? As I promised. My men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. The great chains. I'm ready. Let's trap a dragon. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Bleh. Okay. Call Oven to Dragon's Reach. From where? The Graybeards have arranged a truce between the storm. What's his kid still doing here? There's gonna be a dragon in this place. He should have evacuated everybody. The Great Porch. It's a really great porch. Alright. You do have a plan for luring a dragon here, yeah? Well, he'll come in here, and then we'll chain him. I mean, you know, like the old days. Oh, there's the chains. We're ready when you okay, are. so that comes down and holds him in place, and then we talk. All right. Yeah, it's called... Let's check our weapons. <laughs> uh, we got that guy. And... Wait, I got different weapons here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let's redo our list here. Okay. Uh, is that... Let's do the same amount of damage. Versus 25. I guess. We'll go over to our spell list. Sorry, I just. Uh, I'm set up differently, like I said, in the other game that I'm playing. And I feel like I don't have nearly. So we'll have all those. We won't need this. Or that. That's a pretty good list. And then we'll just, yeah. Got our shouts. Powers. Hmm. 
Got quite a bit of things affecting me right now. Alright. Take another quick look. Alright. I think I'm ready. Here we go. Uh, oops. Here goes the shout. Called him. Defeat? Entrap Odving? Here he comes. Whoa. Where'd he go? Do I have to use Dragon Ren to make him land? I think I might have to. Nope, here he is. Come on in. Um, yeah, let's do it just in case. Come on in. Come on in. I know you're pissed. Do it. We got him. We got him. Got him. Hi. Time to talk. Ovuta mid Kodav. Caught like a bear in a trap. Zok Frimi Grin Kogra Drun Viki Dovakin. Ah, I forget. You do not have the Dova speech. My eagerness to meet you in battle was my undoing, Dovakin. Yep. I salute your. Hmm. No cunning in devising such a Gramin Dol stratagem. <laughs> was pretty easy. You went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. Sorry. In Seer Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. That would help. That's right. Where is he hiding? Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie, none were yet ready to openly defy him. You were telling me where to find Alduin? Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafen, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Binduran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zuulost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Oh, do you promise to serve me? Well, that's an interesting tactic. Um, not until Alduin is defeated. Well, I can't just keep this dragon sitting here while I go on a quest. Um, do you promise to serve me? I guess my balls are that big. Let's just try it out. Um, serve you? No. 
need aid. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Krosis. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. That's generous. Tell me what you know then. You figure this is going to end really in a short list of ways. We get done with this questioning and he decides to just try to destroy everybody and we have to kill him. I mean, that's a short list. <laughs> All right, tell me what you know then. Only this. You have the Thurm of a Dova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Hmm. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Well, that's a generous volunteerism. The Fallen. We have achieved that unlocked achievement. Set Ovag free. All right. We got to do that, definitely. We seem to be at an impasse then. Do you expect me to take your word for that? Fine. I'll set you free if you promise to take me to Skull Dolphin. That's the one I want. Onikan Korav Gaid Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. <laughs> and you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. We're gonna get to ride a dragon. Uh, sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. Oh God! I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some uh, tests on you, purely Hell in no. the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. Get the hell out of here. Where do we let him out? I wouldn't blame you if you ate him. How do we free him? Why can't I just click him free? Where are you going? I don't trust you. Alright, look. A captive dragon. Just think of the possibilities. You just want to test on him. Hey, hey, hey! Release him. Yes, Sarah. I'm working on it. I don't know how to release you, but I want to. Does that count for something? Yes. You release him. Be the toast of White Run for this. Oh my God! Now Where does the mind, release switch? Do I just? I should save. All right, look. Before I do anything stupid, I'm saving. Just so that I can come back to this moment. Okay. We've only got 20 minutes left in our session, so I gotta do something. Come on, let him go. Where's the release switch? Look, this is, is it up here. I can't believe that worked. There we go. Wait, I got a drink. <coughs> this 
Sorry. Uh, okay. Where are we going? Excuse me. Hang on, here I come. Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Whoa. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Um, I'm ready. I don't think I need anything. So off. I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaizal, your envy of the Dove will only increase. Amativ, Mubokotin Stinsel. Oh crap, here we go. We are flying. Right? Well, that was quick. This is as far as I can take you. Griffoth Akrin. I will look for your return. Or Alduin's. Dang it. Okay, well, uh, I don't suppose Lydia made it with me anywhere? Lydia? Oh, God. Okay. So, we just go in, I guess. All right, here we go. Uh, map. So we're way over here. Not that far from Windhelm. And we... Okay. Just for the sake of... I don't know. Orientation. Uh, there's nothing cool out here. Except the view. I kind of wish I could get all that in one shot, but it's okay. Uh, trap. Oh, who's this now? What? Did I wait too long? What has happened? Uh, you're just going to, like, attack me. Who is attacking you? And why are there... Okay, I didn't save. So, hopefully, I get a sense of what is going on here. Uh, let's heal. I still have Dragon Wind. Come on down. Who's shooting at me? Let's heal. <clears throat> Weapons. Heal again. <clears throat> Once I figure out who's attacking me on the side, they're going to get it. They're going to get it. There he is. Dude, you are 
toast. Bam. Just like that. Keep sending them dragons my way. I'll keep collecting their souls. I think I have announced my arrival. <clears throat> take the scales. I'll take the gold. I will leave that armor. And I'll figure out who the hell's... Sh I think it's somebody shooting at me. I should probably save. Saving. Yeah, I'm hearing arrows. Ha, huh. you. Headshot. Oh, it's a river. And down he goes. <clears throat> Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Headshot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's go see if we can collect some treasures. <clears throat> Here he is. Look at that. Look at that shot. Into the nostril. Are you seeing this? That is worth a photo. Oh, you. All right. Yeah, yeah. Look. Urgh, urgh. Take your gold. Anyone else? I swear. Yes. We haven't leveled yet. <clears throat> I don't think. Not yet. Getting close. All right, put that away. <clears throat> Back to this impressive shot. I'm still very proud of that. Very proud. I'll take those arrows and this gold. That was from a distance. You saw me aim, right? That was pretty good. That is what Zen does. Yeah. I mean, center mass, you know. All right, arrows. I'll take that stuff and that arrow. And leave you with what, you put, what put you there. <clears throat> All right. Again, quick save. Can never have enough quick saves. I want to make sure all my arrows are equipped, too. I think last time I had arrows. Neil. Oh, I don't suppose it really matters. Do we do 14 damage versus 8? No, I'll take the Dwarven Arrows. Yeah, we'll start there. <laughs> That'll be better damage next time. All right, let's see about <clears throat> getting... Oh, here's another one. Oops, wrong weapon. Well, screw it. Melee. Oh, there's two of them. That's not good. That's really not good. Look, you... Uh, I just fell. Okay, good. Let's do bow. Figure out where he went. There he is. <clears throat> or a guy. Bam. Bam. Give me those back. They're very valuable. Where did the mage one go? For him? I guess it was. Okay. <clears throat> Tough.
10 minutes left in our session, so not sure how far I'll get. There's another dragon. Well, fine. He's right behind me. Thank you. Bastard. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead for it. Stay right there. All right, give me this. up and heal. Alright. <clears throat> you know it's you know it's a problem when you're getting pretty uh, used to seeing dragons show up. Can't shout yet. Why aren't you attacking? Certainly took your time with that. Okay, back up and heal. Alright. <clears throat> the great sword. Where is he? Stay right there. Come on. Come on. Okay, that kind of hurt. Oh god. That's a bit much. Yeah. Oh no. That's not good. That is the end of me. He got a good strike on me. I got cocky. That's just what happened. Good thing I saved. All right, so we got a couple drugar around the bend here. Take care of them first. <clears throat> Looks like our, we'll end our session on this last dragon fight because it's taken me a couple minutes to get him sorted. Damn, drop, buddy. Look, you, with your... Mm -mm. Sipel. Drop. Drop. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I do love those kill moves. They are... Oops. Oh, let's see what we got here. Potion of haggling. What makes a potion to haggle by? That's just odd. Okay, let's get this stuff. Those arrows back. Uh, we did want... Um, we did want... Dwarven arrows. Selected, I believe. Yes. Okay, and... Save. Uh, let's, let's switch weapons. Well, we'll stay on this for now. Uh, heal. Let's do the healing, maybe. It's a good idea. Alright, and then save. So we're... Good to go. Okay. So I feel like the dragon's gonna show up any second now. I walked over here. I said, ooh, look, a fire. And then the next thing I knew... We had... A dragon. Are we not going to get one this time? There he is. See, I knew he was coming. Alright. And... Bam. Come on down. You gotta come down. I just told you. What is that thing? And then there's Dregar over there? Shit. Oh, you went to ground but way up there. Oh, that's cheating. Isn't it? 
Do I have to come find you? No, you'll just you'll just come back in a second. There you are. That was kind of cheap. Come on down. Yeah. Oh damn. No more biting me. Let's heal real quick before taking more damage. Get our shout ready again. The shout's not ready yet for some reason. Okay, I don't like the breath weapon. That's I can do with that. You can stop biting me. Look, you. Okay, that really hurt. You know what? Bam. Oh, great. I don't know what that meant, but... The potion of the healer I apparently didn't read the description of because I thought it was a healing potion. Okay, switch weapon again. Here we go. No more bites. I'm just going to cut you open from behind. Why am I dodging my body? Do you see what I'm doing there? I'm like... Hello. Let's hit him. The way over here, he shouldn't be able to bite me. Attacking the flank. Oh, God. I'm taking a lot of damage. Uh, okay. Heal. No tail damage. All right, you. This is the last of it right here. This, is com this comes to an end now. Come on, attack him. Down you go. That's right. I'm going to have a bunch of dragon souls saved up. All right. A couple more minutes left, and then we'll wrap this video up. I'm going to need these uh, Dragon Souls for uh, new goons, new shouts. Right, save. Uh, quick save. And then we'll do one little scouting expedition. And then we'll wrap things up. Because, you know, we can always do more. All right, we are healed. Take that great sword out. I'm kind of curious what's over here. Even though it's probably going to draw me out to a bunch of protectors. What is this thing here? The South Tower. Map? Local. Three South Tower doors. And where I'm going is way over here. Okay. All right. Well, oh, nope. We've still got somebody probably targeting me at a distance. I'm going to say let's go ahead and save here and wrap this up for today. Oops. Major save. Not a quick save. Come on. Come on. There we go. New save. Takes a couple tries to get this thing to save because it likes to stick. There we go. Saved. All right. That's going to do it. That's our hour. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Sorry that the uh, beginning was a little slow, but we got a couple of dragon fights in. Those are always good for <laughs> footage. And um, that's going to do it for this weekend, actually. Um, that's going to also bring us up to our three sort of third episode. This should be episode 21. Uh, and um, yeah, next week we'll see about doing another live stream. Hopefully we'll be back at it uh, on a regular schedule again. So if you like it, put a like in the video. And if you want to see when these things go up or you want to see the live events, uh, go ahead and subscribe. 
Uh, this has been John Cauldron, a.k.a. Zen, and thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.